Hi, it's Chicken Bone John here in the workshop, and I just want to talk about how cigar box guitars perform acoustically. Somebody sent me an email saying they were thinking of buying a guitar and that they'd be using it at home. Probably would never bother putting it through an amp. So I thought I would have a look at a few different cigar box guitars, not quite chosen at random from uh, a, se a selection that we've got in stock, but uh, I'll go through these and just do them, just demonstrating them totally acoustically, no amplification at all, no fiddling about with it, and just see what they sound like for comparison. Here we go. Hi, so here we are with a selection of guitars and I'm just gonna strum these acoustically and I'll just comment on them as we go. So let's pick one here. This has got, most of these have got floating bridges. This one, as you can see, that's got a really thick top. The top's as thick as, as that. So here we go. Okay, that's that. Let's, I'll just go through these as they come up. Here's one of our more basic workshop, basic guitars, uh, which is a workshop guitar plywood box with solid wooden sides and a, a round sound hole. Oop. Quite a bit of volume from that. Now here we're going to go on to something quite different. This is the only one out of this lot. You can see it's got a fixed so, uh, strat style bridge. Quite a lot more muted. This is screwed through to a centre block, so it's like a semi-solid guitar. Here's one on a bigger box. This is this is how, what comes with our kits. So it's a birch ply box. This one's got sound holes in it. <laughs> quite a bit louder, more mellow sound. Now I'll just talk a little bit about the principles of this. Really the lighter the top is uh, and uh, it, it, it's, it's going to respond better. So if it's thin and light uh, and relatively flexible, so this ply box is relatively stiff um, so it tends to damp the sound. The sound holes, this is an interesting thing. Uh, if you, if I cover them up, you may be able to hear the difference. You get a little bit more projection. Now, it's not that the sound, the sound holes let the sound out. Technically, what's happening is, I said, the front part of the body is going to radiate the sound. Inside, you get sort of waves set up and having these holes or ports like in a loudspeaker tends to permit the uh, radiation of these lower frequencies. Basically, it's technically, it's called a Helmholtz resonator where you have an enclosure and holes in it. I'm not too hot on the science of this, but there you go, that's what's happening. We'll go on to a different box here. Now this is a, this is a thin box, but quite a light, light top. That's still quite lively and loud, and it's not got any sound holes. It's probably getting more treble than that. I think with put with the sound holes in that, you're getting a little more low frequencies. Here's one done, fairly thin box, but it's quite a large box, again with sound holes. Again, slightly deeper sound, I think, because you know, you're getting the resonance from inside the box. Here's another one with F holes, quite big, quite deep, but this is a solid wood box uh, rather than uh, a plywood box. 
that's quite a lot louder than all of the others. And here's another one, which is fairly thin plywood box, no sound holes. Obviously a lot quieter than that last one. So if you're playing at home, all of these will work and be loud enough for you to hear yourself strumming. Uh, so, but you may be wanting a slightly bigger box, you might be looking at sound holes. If you're plugging it in, the more resonant it is acoustically, the more prone it might be to getting feedback, you know, that howl round when you plug it in at loud volumes. So one without sound holes and a slightly stiffer top uh, may be better for playing live. Or something like this, where you've got a semi-solid construction and a hard tail bridge. So there's not much acoustic sound. It's acting more like a, a solid bodied electric guitar. Or you could go for a full solid body. For the ultimate in acoustic, you'd probably go for something like a, a resonator guitar built with a proper lightweight spun aluminium cone. I'm not going to demonstrate this that here. It's a different sort of animal. I might do another demonstration where we look at, say, go from one extreme to the other. The solid body, the conventional cigar box guitar uh, and a resonator. So I hope that's helped clear, clear it up. Uh, the si As I say, the science of it is the, 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 the face of the guitar is where you're going to get most of the, the sound coming out of it. Also, bear in mind, these are floating bridges. So the strings are pressing down on the top. So you need quite a bit of what's known as break angle. If you can see how the strings bend over the, the bridge and that presses down on the top. Puts more pressure on the top and it's going to make the top vibrate more. If you look at conventional acoustic guitars, most of them have got what's called a pin bridge which anchors the strings into the top of the guitar. And instead of the strings pressing down, they're pulling on the guitar top. Now that's a much more difficult thing to make because you know it, it's trying to pull the thing apart, but it does make the top more responsive. Uh, I have made uh, cigar box guitars like that. Haven't got one in um, in this selection because I haven't got any three strings like that. I've got a six string acoustic. Maybe that's something we'll talk about uh, another time. But we're just dealing with these sort of conventional type uh, guitars. So I hope that's been useful. Uh, you know, and these are this is probably the simplest, cheapest guitar that we do here in this selection. And acoustically, it's absolutely fine for, for, for playing at home. Plugged in as well, you'll get a great performance. So you don't necessarily need to spend a huge amount of money. The fancy blue one with the with nice artwork, that's a different animal. That's a lot more expensive, uh, lighter build, and this lovely artwork by uh, by Anne. So, you know, that's probably three, four times as much as this. Depends what you're after, whether you want a piece of art, something that's going to perform, or just something to sit and noodle at home. Okay, thanks for watching, and bye for now.